Hi, it's me, Scott, again, with the doing part two of the Cove Recycling Project. Since we've done part one, there have been several minor changes and little tweaks and issues and things that will help uh, and make a difference in how you do the recycling project. So today, I'm going to go ahead and go through some of these things and hopefully make it so that way this can be a real easy piece of cake sort of situation. Again, behind me, I've got the recycling trailer and onto recycling bins. I'm up at the recycling center today, up here in Madras, and not at the Cove, and this is where I'm going to go through a few of the items. One of the things that you'll see is we've got the trailer, and to the right we've got additional bins. These bins to the right are empty bins that will be used and explained later on. On the trailer, what you'll see is we've got 12 recycling bins, and if you look on the sides, I've taken duct tape and marked with a sharpie what each bit, what is on each bin. This is something I would highly recommend. Non-corrugated cardboard, tin cans, refundable cans, refundable plastic. The refundables are what we take to Ericsson's and put it in the marked bags. Cardboard, another cardboard. Cardboard is the bulkiest. Keep it towards the back. Clear glass, green glass, brown glass, newspaper, other plastics, and plastic milk jugs. Milk jugs and water bottles that are the size of the milk jugs. The importance of that is that we have to separate these differently than other everything else. When you come and you've completed everything at the cove, you'll come up to the recycling center and you will go to the main office. And I'm going to try to, yeah, I can't zoom in. Go to the main office, you'll see the black truck there in the distance. Uh, there'll be bins open up, and that's where the cardboard goes. So, on your trailer, keep your cardboard at the back. Every time we make a trip, we need to unload the cardboard. What we have here, as I'll show you, is a bin that still has plastic. This is what a filled plastic container would look like. And you see we've got fill line on it. We only use the bags, again, only use the bags for everything that's going to be going to Ericsson's. The other thing, let's see, where else can I go? Madras Sanitary will empty everything else when it's time. But I'll look here in the green glass. Here we have a bunch of wine bottles and other things that have mo that are green glass. Some of the bottles are hard to tell if they're greenish, they are greenish brownish, but that's up to your discretion. That's it. All right, to go ahead and leave everything in there until these bins get full, and then we can notify the office. So for the most part, a lot of this stuff will stay on the trailer and will not have to be taken off. Again, what will need to be taken off is your bottles and cans. Uh, the previous team which is doing this later today, has did not remove their their refundable uh, plastic bottles. So, you know, there's a good uh, eight to ten bucks or something over there. So you know, you're you're should keep all that stuff with you. Anyway, when you take something off and it's getting full, replace it with some of the empties that are shown here. These are here and set up and ready to use. If you have any questions. Just feel free to contact Sherry or I, and that should do it. Thanks.